keeper of the heavenly records. It's really you. You are the one that watches over all the records in heaven. I've been given a rare privilege to be able to talk to you. Oh my goodness. The first thing I want to know is about my friend. Her name is Marie Louise Smith. She and I have been friends for so long. Help me to tell her the truth about what the records of heaven say about her specifically. Well, let me look in this book here. This is the Lamb's Book of Life, in which her name should be recorded if she has received Jesus as her Savior. So, let's open it up. Now, you said her name was... Her name is Marie Louise Smith. Marie Louise Smith, correct? All right, well, let me... And where is she living? Okay, in Texas. All right, so... Marie Louise Smith in Texas. Let's see. All right. Okay. Oh, here she is. Marie Louise Smith from Texas. Well, let's see. Yep, there it is. Oh, good. Her name is there. So your friend sincerely asked Jesus to be the Lord of her oh. life, and she is coming to heaven to live for eternity. It is good news, isn't it? Okay, what? And I know there's things that she's done that she's really uh, sorry about, she's repented of, and I, but she just feels still to this day that she has to make up for that somehow by doing good deeds and stuff. Could you please set that right with me? What do the records of heaven say? Oh, well, actually here under her name I see, which I've seen so often, such a wonderful gift. All it says is, refer to Jesus. Okay, so that's all it says. No, no, I'm looking here. No, there's no mention of any kind of sin that she committed. They're all gone. Oh, They're goodness. wiped clean. No, it's not. I've seen it so many times. The blood of Jesus comes and washes all the accounts clean as they are written into this book, there is nothing in here that could substantiate any kind of accusation against those that have given their lives to Jesus Christ. So, your friend, according to this book and this heavenly record, is free from any kind of condemnation or accusation. She is a child of God and is recognized as a citizen of heaven. She'll be so happy. She does feel like she needs to do a lot for the kingdom of God. Well, it's true that she can't just go live any kind of life she wants to. It would be best to live according to what God has planned for her. This is the Lamb's Book of Life that will record who gets to spend eternity with God. And in this book are recorded all those names of those people who have given their lives to God and have repented of their sins and allowed God to come and be the Lord of their life. Jesus, their Savior, has washed away all their sins. So when I look in this book, I see all those names written in the book, and everything under them then would be any kind of accusation against them and what kind of standing they have with the Father. These other books here, there's many, many other books here, as you can see. There's only one that will have the names of those going to heaven in it, but all these other books are the record of the deeds that they did after they accepted Jesus as their Savior. Now, um, let me see if I can find the one for your friend. Okay, up oh, here it is. She has been a busy lady, hasn't she? Yes. Well, I can see here, there are many things that she has done, many good things. Oh my goodness, she is such a sweetheart, isn't she? But there is something I need to tell you about that's also recorded in God's Word, that there are deeds that are done that are idle deeds, deeds that people would do to try to earn God's favor. Well, she's already in this book. She's already got God's favor. So what these books then would tell us, of the things that she has done, whether out of her own effort to try to get God to be pleased with her, or whether they're works that God actually asked her to do and created her to do, and that she's being faithful to do. And what will happen is this whole book, full of all the deeds that she's done, 
even the words that she has spoken with faith behind them are recorded and the ones that are initiated by her by her own effort will be burned up but those that spring out of her time with God and are something that God asked her to do they will remain and be a reward to her so it's really the best thing to do for her would be to spend time with the Father every single day and ask him what he wants her to do that day and those things that he asked her to do those are the only things that she should do now obviously um, there are kind acts that she can do but many many people just have volumes and volumes of books filled up with acts that they thought would be good but God never asked them to do it and the problem with that is when God asks you to do something he actually gives you the supernatural ability called anointing to do it, the wisdom, the timing, the connections, mm -hmm. and it goes just the way he planned it to. But when people try to do things on their own without his anointing, without his help and his timing, the person ends up being in toil and in just heavy burden on them because they're doing extra things they weren't asked to do. They're connecting with people that really weren't supposed to be in their lives and those people are pulling them down. They're getting away from their intended destiny. So she needs to focus on what God wants her to do, who God wants her to be with. The rest of it she should just leave up to him because as you well know, there are trials and battles that you guys have to go through. There is a war going on down there. I'm sure you know that, but the enemy sends his attacks all the time. And so those times when you're not busy doing what God asks you to do, you are then being strengthened to fight that battle, to get through the battle, and to maybe rest and recuperate and be refreshed. But those people then that try to go beyond what God has them to do, well, they're still trying to do those dead works while this battle is going on. And they get overwhelmed. They get just burdened down. And that's not what God meant for them. If God didn't want them to do something heavy that day, there was a reason. There was an attack coming that they needed to focus on because it would be distracting to them. So have your friend make sure she spends time with God every day to find out what he wants her to do and not spinning her wheels doing whatever she thinks would be good that day. She needs to find out from God because he's the one that will put the right connections in her life and will give her the enablement, the strength, the peace, and the grace to go through what she needs to go through. That's so good to hear. Well, of course, oh my goodness, what a good news you've received today that she is in the book of life and she is doing lots of good things, but she needs to turn away from those things that are not from God because they will weigh her down. They will be toil to her. They'll drag her down and they will steal her joy she is accepted and loved so much by God Almighty, I can tell you, because when it says refer to Jesus, that means she has the same love from God that he has for his own son, Jesus. Amen. Everything good that Jesus did, all the love that God has for his son is on her account in this book. Thank you so much for telling me. That means so much to me. I can't wait to share it with her. Your record is just like that. No accusation, no condemnation. It's all Jesus and what he did for you that counts. All your stuff has been wiped completely away, not even in the books anymore. No one can accuse you. God loves you so much. You are a child of God that is at peace with God. He loves you so much you don't have to earn his love. So the best thing you can do is spend time with the Father every single morning. Ask Him what He wants you to do and then just do that and do only that. Relax. Be ready for the battles. Be ready to be a blessing to someone and to spend your energy doing what He wants you to do with the people that He wants you connected with. He will enable you to do what He's called you to do. What you do on your own without asking Him is going to cause you to be burdened and to wear out and become weary and hate what you're doing. And when the battle comes, you won't be ready for it. So don't do stuff that He's not asking you to do. 
He loves you already. You don't have to earn his love. Don't let your family suffer just because you're busy doing stuff that he didn't ask you to do. Your family needs you. Your family is a very high priority in his eyes. So be sure that you're not serving way too much or extending yourself way too much with other people when your family is really the one that needs you, that needs your influence, that needs your love, that needs your time. Sometimes they're the ones that need what you're pouring out for others.